G Kambalari Bina Salga says, Paul, are you following the Winter Olympic Games? If no, then there is a transgender athlete from America who is competing in swimming with women. He, she has won gold. <laughs> now it has become a serious matter of concern. I pity the future of female gender. He, she has won gold. Yes. Does it make sense? Those who are talking about discrimination, you bring a man, full man, with all the strength, he's competing with women, and you say it's a transgender. What sense does it make? They will be exposed. I often said that sports is going to expose all of this. And, you know, the times that they are making are ridiculous. What kind of time are you recording? It's just like saying, uh, what is his name? What is this fast? Uh, Samaya. Uh, no, no, Samaya. Uh, well, no, this quick American runner in uh, uh, Jamaican, what's his name? Bolt? Yeah, uh, yes. You you Bolt. If Usain Bolt would have flipped his hand and say, I'm a woman, then he starts running with uh -huh. women. How would you feel? It doesn't make sense. It shows you how ludicrous all of this is. And very soon, they're all going to be exposed. Their society is now collapsed. And I keep on telling everybody, all these things happening are a sign of a degenerate and collapsing civilization. The Caucasian civilization has collapsed. It happened to the Greeks. It happens to the Assyrians, the Romans. In fact, the last 12 of the 14 uh, Caesars were all homosexuals before Rome collapsed. Oh, the Caesars? Yes. Before That's the collapse right. of the Roman yes, Empire. Yes, exactly. So it's a symptomatic. And the highest thing they want, you know, Nero was the last Roman Empire who was a homosexual. And he was even doing both, you know. Uh, I gave you the story, mm -hmm. uh, a line, when he will either use Soros or, or Pythagoras, who were his slave. Uh, you know, sometimes he's a man and sometimes he's a woman mm -hmm. in the relationship, all right? So the highest they want is the head of state to become a homosexual. So the, the, the Democratic Party, they've appointed Pete Buttigieg. Very soon, they're going to push him to be a presidential candidate. That's what... That, That's the end of it. Exactly. That's what they want. That's the ultimate. And we've seen it before in the Roman Empire. So it's not the first time. So we know where America is going to end. If people and Christians around don't stand and oppose this, and I know they will oppose it. This what culture being pushed by... Uh, the crazy left in America. Okay, thank you. Because of lack of time. Let's go to Ibrahim Zebla, please.